So that's half of some shears or something. Alright, fine. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, that depends. Will the spoon allow me to dig into the plant over here? No. And I have a focusing knob, a golden sun, and a spoon. I know you guys said that it, it has to go on a lion, but... Sorry, what lion? <laughs> what lion are you guys talking about? Spoon's probably going to be for helping us make tea. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's make a cuppa. Wait, what? Oh no, we gotta boil it first. Turn on the power. Oh yeah. Fire it all up. Is it working? I don't know if it's working or not. Put, oh yeah, we are totally making a yummy cup of tea here. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that line. Okay, thanks, Spirit. I'll definitely get to that. Put some lemons in there? Oh, this is sugar. Oh, okay. I don't like sugar in my tea, so... I would never have thought to put sugar in tea. Lemons, for sure. I was wasting a little tiny bit of gas. It's green tea! Not blue tea, but green tea. That was definitely one of my favorite things with blue tea games, is when they had like actual cups of blue tea. <laughs> I love that. That was awesome. Okay, let's put the sun up here like you folks suggested. And is that a fuse? Oh, it's one out of three fuses. Good to know. No, that's not where the green tea goes. Honey is good. Yeah, I could see that. Hey, mister, would you like your green tea? Here. There, we've made your tea for you. Nine sugar cubes? Wow, that is a lot of sugar. I did do that in Ghost of Thorn Hall, but that was just for funsies. I also had a lot of tea in that particular game, if I recall. It was like endless tea. Mr. King is owner of the research center. Very wealthy man. I worked for him for the past 10 years. Laura is Mr. King's daughter, a journalist at Cognition, a sweet girl who disappeared because of me. It's all my fault. Ah, uh, she was trying to deliver a confidential blueprint to me. Confidential blueprint? There's this project they're working on, a revolutionary invention. You need to give me as much information as you can if you want me to locate Laura. So, tell me about the project. I will, it's just that I'm really tired now. I need to get some rest. Hey, I just made you a cup of mint tea. What you doing there, mister? I'm sure you'll find important clues on your own. I'll be in my bedroom if you need me. Oh yes, one more thing, detective. My lab somehow broke into it. Oh, my lab, someone broke into it a week ago. Do you think this might be connected to Lara's disappearance? It might be anything else. Not that I have noticed, but I guess what they were looking for. A precious item. It's in my safe, but even I have forgotten the code. Of course you have. I'd have to investigate your lab. There might be some clues. I shouldn't miss a thing. Boom! Lab key get! <laughs> Ooh, black tea with ginger. That sounds delicious. Ooh, the dash of honey. This guy makes no sense. He is actually really strange. Strange, strange, strange. There's the eye. Looks like we're missing something here. And then we've got something here. Oop, we'll take this. But we don't know the code. Paper pieces, interesting. What's over here? I never used a telescope before. I have a focusing knob. Focus! The lens is missing. What am I, a repairing girl? <laughs> wow. I actually have a cup of coffee right now. I I had a cup of coffee, or sorry, I had a cup of tea earlier this morning, but I've switched over to coffee. Mm. For no particular reason, really. Just felt like it. So the mirror is glowing and vibrating. I use my amulet on it. 
Yeah, coffee totally tells the future. Mr. King, something bad happened. Lara is missing. I'm with. The, whoa, why are they sharing the same image? What is going on here? Please, Mr. King, don't worry. I must find her. Oh my god, that creature pretends he was Dr. Magmus. Oh no. I warned you, but you couldn't stay out of this, could you? Ah. Pretend it's scary, folks. If you want to save Magnus and Laura, you'll have to open the dreamatory. That creature took Dr. Magnus too. I saw him flying upstairs. Is Magnus there with him? I don't know. There's glass everywhere now. And a top hat just looking to be worn. Let's have a look at our map and see what we have for options. Let's see how they do this here. Okay, so active action here. Go! So, can we get down here? I don't think... Oh, we can do something with these. Okay. Ooh, so the ghost tore this note. He probably didn't want Magnus to see it. Someone is stalking you. Ah, stalker! Yikes! So, oh, I can actually grab that. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. Let's look at our map. Let's go back to the library. So what do we have here? We've got the pruner part one, the lab key. Hmm. I must have missed something in here. So I don't know the code to that. And I don't know how to get in there. Oh, whatever that is. Oh, it's a lens. Okay, good. Let's get in here and see what our telescope is pointing at. It's probably pointing at the neighbors. <laughs> Guys creeping on the neighbors. Uh, what the heck am I looking for here? Uh, this is weird. Oh, I think that might be it there. Hang on. Go up this way. Okay, now we need the cognition thing. So that's going to be on the mailbox, I think. Yeah, there it is. And now we need to look at whatever that is. Hmm. Let's see here. What could that be? Oh, there it is there. And now we need to look for number one. Number one is over here, I think. Yep. There we are. Come on, touch it. There we go. <laughs> on. Things are on right now. Come on. Why can I not get at that particular thing? Am I not clicking on this right thing? Hmm. Yeah, that squeaky noise is annoying, no doubt. I mean, that's all we can hear right now. There's no other audio. Oh, there's a higher one? Oh. Oh, that's kind of weird. That, okay, fair enough. Thank you for pointing that out. I would never have picked up on that. Let's see, where's number three? I think I saw three right there. Yay! Yeah, a little bit of music right now. For sure. Hmm, 813, I should write that down. We know that's a code for here. 813. No, go this way. Oh, I can go both ways. I didn't realize that. Open says me. I have this and I have this. What are these things? One out of two tokens and a lobby cabinet key. That should work here. What's inside? Oh, it looks like it's a fragmented object scene. Oh, wow. Alright, I can live with that. Ooh, look at that. I'm a rapid attacker. <laughs> Achievement get. So we need some blue bits here. Let's see here. That one, that one, that one. And that 
piece there. Oh, more pieces are flying out at me here. Let's see. And that one should go there. Yeah, totally collecting random things in people's places. That's what I do. That's how I roll. You just found the multi-tool, a special item which can be used for various purposes throughout the game. Pick up the multi-tool and dig the ground. This is our multi-tool? Holy cow, look at this thing. Nothing looks deadly. Wow. Yeah, I wish my house was as interesting as this one in terms of locks too. Okay, so we need to deal with the four little, or sorry, those two little blue things. Now, oh, look, there's a little uh, salamander or something crawling up there. A ladybug there. Got myself whatever that is. It's an owl. So what am I supposed to be doing here anyways? Looks like this should hold a square object. Of which I don't have. Uh, oh no, that's where that token needs to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's totally a Swiss Army knife. I think I can use this here. Oh. It's supposed to be a multi-tool. <laughs> How multi is this if it can't do that? It's not very good at being a multi-tool. Was it in the kitchen that I had to do this? I don't think so. Let's be in here. I haven't actually played the latest house uh, homecoming. Wait, is it homecoming? I'm trying to think of that. Oh, is the mailbox? Okay. Let's go. I guess the mailbox has got to be out the front, right? Aha! Thank you. Oh no, is this a. S okay, we can place these anywhere. Phew! Getting a little worried this might be a slider puzzle. You all know how much I love those. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to use it on everything. You know it. It's a multi tool. It should have multi uses. Okay, we got to go and get to that gate here. And then we'll do this puzzle. Move the tokens to the right places to open the gate lock. Uh, okay. Why is it doing that? Oh, I see it slides. Ooh, yikes. So the suns have to go here. The moons have to stay here. This is weird, because uh, you can grab it and drag it, which is a little odd. Come on, get over there. <laughs> now I need the star out of here. Um, this should be good once I get this over here. Put that there. Oh, oh, I see that one open. Okay, that startled me. Wasn't expecting it to do that. Relatively easy one with a lot of options for moving it, so yay! Let's go to the laboratory. Yeah, I could totally be wearing a false mask of multitudes or multi-tool. It's not doing what it says it's supposed to do. Ooh, we can open this up. You have something that belongs to me. I'm coming for you. Who is R.W. Parker? Good question. Oh, it's a trash can. I guess we don't want anything in there, we just want to look at it. I'll take that. Excellent. Cloth. Ooh, it's dark in here. Multi-tool, go. This time, it's a multi-tool, yes. So what do we have here? Uh, oh, a fuse, okay. This is probably where the fuses go, yep. Oh, it's going to be a math puzzle, yes. Totally, totally math puzzle it up here. But I'm missing a fuse though. Uh, well, laboratory hall. What does our map say? It says we should stay where we are, so that's what we'll do. 
Alright, so how long have I been streaming? Is it time for me to do another giveaway? I think it is. So we have about 30 people watching. I'm just going to pause right here. And uh, we've got 16 people entered into the draw. If you would like to have a chance at walking away with a uh, premium edition of the Grim Legends 2, now's the time to vote because I'm going to pick, 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 pick a winner. Picking a winner. So this is the time for you to select that button there. And... All right, here we go. And I am picking now. All right, time to pick. A premium edition, just basically a collector's edition. Uh, outside of Big Fish games, the developers typically don't use collector's edition uh, language. All right, Spirit. Spirit, you have won the second copy of Grim Legends 2. So uh, that will, uh, you know be good for you. I have one more copy so what I'll do is I'll just reset the uh, giveaway and just give me a second here I gotta need to pull up something here to do that and then I'll reset it and I've got one more copy. Let me just make a note here to make sure. Yes so this one goes to Hope. She gets the first one and then Spirit gets the second one. Okay yep there you go. So you folks, don't forget, just send me a private message on uh, Facebook, Steam, Twitter, YouTube, whatever it is, and then I'll be able to kind of hook you up. So I've got one more copy of Grim Legends 2. I also have uh, Nightmares from the Edge, or sorry, Nightmares from the Deep 3. So folks, what would you like me to give away? Grim Legends 2 or Nightmares from the Deep 3? Here, let me just uh, hide that for a second. And let me see here. I'll put that up there. Here, I, let's uh, reset that. Uh, which game should I give away next? Which game to give away next? And the options are Nightmares from the Deep, uh, Deep 3, and Grim Legends 2. So I'll just put a quick little poll up. You guys tell me which one I'd, you'd like me to give away next. And uh, that's what I'll do. All right, so just go ahead and uh, click on the poll at the top there, and then I'll be able to uh, set that up, and we'll, I'll give away either Nightmares from the Deep or Grim Legends 2. You guys decide. All right, so let's continue. So what do we want to do here? We want to go this way. There's something suspicious over here. I think our owl will do the trick. Get in there. Oh, it's a fuse. Time for math. Excellent, excellent indeed. <laughs> 